So back to here are we? So now, okay, number one, you can see uh, if you check it very well, the du command. When I now tried it, it's showing that my folder one in this directory there's another directory called one, and that directory has size four. In and then in the directory we have another directory called two. It has size zero, size three, size twelve, and the current directory itself has size twelve. So that's what do you do? Print the path and also the size of directories. Okay. So and then this one will sort it, and then this nr that will be man. And let's see uh, man sort. And then we'll be able to see. So let us man sort. We we'll able to see what nr is for. Okay. So where we see n, we say n is for numeric sort. To sort it numerically. Okay. And r, this small r, reverse the result of comparison. Okay. So. So if we do Q and then we do DU and then sort it numerically in reverse way. So try for and it has reversed it. So it started from normally if I just do this one and remove that reverse, I think it's going to start from zero. Okay, as you see, zero zero let me have it is. Zero, 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 four, twelve. But we want to do it descending order. So they did the sorting numerically and then in descending order. So that is how they got this one. So is that one understood? Do you understand? Yes. So the, yes, yes. so the last one is find. So this one too. Uh, let's copy the text. Copy text. Copy. Use my control C. Okay. Display the total number of files in the current working directories and of its sub directories. Okay. So. This one says so for this cupboard, we have tired already. I didn't copy it. So let's just do this one and do the filters and probably um, tomorrow morning, first thing we do the task. Or I'll see if I can still try and do something. When is it tomorrow morning? What time? What time do you mean? I don't know, uh, probably tomorrow afternoon. I don't know if there will be. Let me see the project. Let me see uh, if they start or if you guys have time. Uh, there will be, I guess there will be tax by tomorrow morning. Okay, let me check. I think we are starting C tomorrow. No, you can't start C tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow is. Um, Shell init variable and expansion, and we have one professional. Let me see, is it open? Okay, then open. So, shell init for tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, we have shell init. Wait, tomorrow is. 12. It's 12 today already. It's democracy day, so there's nothing. Hey, that's um, good. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good though. Okay, we'll that's do good. this pass tomorrow morning, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so tomorrow morning, we'll do that one. So thank God. So, what time? Uh, probably by 11. Okay, we should hold your trouser, bar. Yeah, no problem. So, but let us finish um, these few times as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just uh, explain this. No, uh, that is not a problem. Yeah. yeah. So once we are done with this, we know that 
Just there's one other material though. Uh, yeah, that special character. So that one just special character. So that one mm. is nothing serious about that one. So, so this one will be the character. Let's we can touch it tomorrow just briefly. Please. Yes, we'll touch it now. Mm-hmm. We'll touch it and then we'll move on to the task. Um, so this one, find this and this. Okay, so he says, uh, display the, let's see what it does. And let me explain how that one works. So this find is used to find anything. You can use it to find a file, find uh, it's majorly files or directories. Okay, so this one is saying we should find in this directory, there's a type of, file okay the type of file i think called dash print let me see display the total number of files in the current directory and all of its directory okay i think this one says print so in other words let me just i think i gave it to let me use this to explain this now explain this line of code is starting to send. Okay, let me reduce the screen. So, you said define this command is used to search for files and directories within a specified location. So, the dot now. This is the starting point of the search, indicating the current working directory. So it's saying that you should search only in that directory. Okay. So it can be replaced with a specific directory path if you want to search in a different location. So, and then we have the dash type F showing that this option says right that we are only interested in regular files. So the fa- file type is normal files only. We are not searching for directories. So it excludes directory symbolic link and other non-regular files. Okay. Then we have the print. So this is what I wanted to remember. So let's come down. Yeah. This action is performed for each file found, printing the file's name to the output. So this dash print, the function of dash print is to print after it has found that file. Okay the regular file it will now print the name to the output so this one is the pipe right which we know we direct the output to the previous command to find to the input okay so the wc l which is the last one this command counts the number of line in the input it receives by using the dash l option it counts numbers of line and outputs the result so this one is word count yeah, so it will count that um, that um, the, I think the number of lines of that text that is is um, done. Let me let me just try that command on this and see how it works. Okay, so enter and then it says thirteen. You can tell me. Why is it just thirteen? Ls. Uh, so we have normally we have three files here and uh, find file print it okay print it. so when you run the command it will search for all the regular files in the current working directory and its sub directories and then print their names to the output. Okay, let's try it without. Let's try it without the word count. Okay, so this is what actually I want to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I think it look it will look for all the files and then uh, print their names out. So that word count 
would count the numbers of parts we have there. So uh, let me see. If we do ls, we have first then two 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 direct we direct we direct we direct okay so what actually happened with this say it what it did is that um it excluded all these files if you look at the this content now it says okay now okay sorted okay it didn't exclude them it didn't exclude it so what it did is we have sorted here right we have sorted here so it listed all the files we have sorted list me and first ten list me and first thing so inside these directories it went there and pick all the files there inside one inside one 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 we have one two three four five five files inside one inside two we have one two three four five six showing that five three is empty file four and four that four is empty so we listed all the files we find in this directory all files all files and print their names out print their names out they now added this uh, word count and then count it line by line line by line word count line by line and give out the output so we give out the output that we only have 13 files in this directory all the files here is 13. Okay. so that's how that works <clears throat> Sorry, I'm stretching. Okay, so the filters, which is the last one we're we'll doing for today, says it's the continuation of that. Say so one kind of programming frequency. So the the filters is just talking about what we've been using here. All these ones, they are filters. They are fitting, they are fitting those um, outputs that we're getting. Filtering it and then um, putting it in, okay, and then displaying the content out. So it's just something we've been talking about already. So it's nothing different. So one kind of program frequency used in pipeline is called a filter. So with pipeline, you always want to use a filter. Filter takes standard input, and it will take that input coming in and perform an operation upon it. Like this sort will collect some data, will sort it out for you. Okay, so unique will collect data, sort it out. Grep will collect data, FMT, um, PR, Airtel, we've done Airtel already. TR translates to translate um, some words I give to it. SDA, WQ, we still have so many. We have, um, there's one they call more, there's one they call. Uh, I remember so so on like that yeah. but the more one is much um, is used majorly for uh, probably tomorrow I'm, I'm going to add that to after we finish the task we'll add some other ones mm -hmm. but we might not be using it even we will not be using it in ELX for now so uh, let's start from sort right so here are some common programming examples. So sort, sort it will sort standard input, then output the sorted. So once you standard input as what is coming in, it will sort it, then output the uh, what is it? Output the sorted results on standard output. Then you can still redirect it if you want to. Okay, so that's the work of sort. So maybe I should. I don't know if I should. Do a, a an example. Okay, we did the example of sorts already. Now we did the example. Of sorts. So the unique, given a sorted stream of data, we've been given a sorted stream now. Okay, it has been sorted from A. So unique, given a sorted stream of data. From standard input, it removes it removes duplicate line of data. It makes sure that every line is unique. Okay, so it will make sure that every line. 
So if you have a line that is the same thing, it will remove one and then make sure everything. Let's try the unique and see. So let's see. I have uh, the far called test unique. Okay. So inside we have I am good. I am good. You are bad. Yes, you. Yes, you are. So I have I am good. I am good. I want to use unique, and then unique should help me remove this I am good, right? So and we remain. We should remove one. Okay. So I say um, sort. Oh, I say parts test so test unique and I said sort it sort it sort the output um unique. So, sort will help me arrange it and then you make it help me remove that one. See, I have, I am good. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are bad. So, I don't have it. So, if I just, if I remove that unique, I will have, I am good, I am good. You are bad. So do we understand? We should we should continue now? Yes, go ahead. So um drep, which is this one will examine each line of data it received from the standard input. So it will examine each line and output every line that contains a specified pattern of character. So this one is actually used to kind of um, search so for example if I have a file that has um, let me remove all this directly one two three okay. yes. so let us create a Let's use this test in the VI test. Okay. So, as you can see, I have good here, right? Okay, let me just write something. So we have good, 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 good. So all these lines that have good, I want to print them out. Okay. So I can use this uh, grep. Grep will print. It will print all those lines that has a specified character. Examine each line of data it received from standard imp input and output every line that contains a specified pattern of character. Okay, so um, let me see. I think they should talk about group. Here. So, this is we have. If you do man grep, this one is opening the man page. So, it said you do grep the op option and pattern and panning. So, let's see. Uh, uh, I think it's supposed to be like this. I'm not sure. I haven't used this. Okay, escape 
x okay so let's try grab grab um, root for testing uh, okay what grep actually did here is it's highlighted that word group good inside uh, this one. So let me see if I can use it at at uh, at testing. How how will I type it now? Um, if I say sort it and grep. Uh, not sure if this one will work. Okay, still do the same thing. Okay, but it's different now. If you look at it, okay, it actually worked because look at the first one. Grab good this. It only displayed each line that has good. Good. Uh, good. If I open this test unique, you see that I have more than these lines. I have more than one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I okay, let me just do cards. Test. You see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lines. These two lines does not have good, and then it, it did not display them. So the the grep will only display the lines with that specified character. So I also used it with piping, and I said all the files from this thing sort it out in Nava. I said this one is now I'm now sorting it now. I sorted it and then I pass it on to Graham. Okay. And then G will come before each right and then I. And then in the other in the other part where I didn't sort it, I think it just arranged it the way it came out from. That uh, I reach everything. It just arranged it and then this sort let me sort it. So, so that is my so do you have any question? Any question? Sorry. Not from me. I don't have from here. You don't have? Yes, from here, no. From my end, I don't have. So I'm just coming in. Did I, did I miss anything? Did you miss anything? Yeah. You said you're just coming in? Yeah, I don't know what I missed most. Much. Yes, we started very long not on redirection though uh, oh, okay. it's since probably like well, three no. hours ago oh, I'm, what i mean is uh, about the redirection but i missed much yes you've missed probably one hour oh it's fine sorry go ahead all right so um that's it and uh, let's go back to content uh, is this where I'm coming from? No. No, this is not where we are. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, we are in FMT, right? So, FMT, this one will read the text from standard inputs. That's whatever you put, that thing that is coming into it, it will read it. Then, output formatted text on standard output then this one is like format it so let me see the syntax and see format um width and then file okay simple text simple optimal text formatter this one is formatting but i don't know how it formats so let's try it out FMT. or let's just give it some charge use fmt use fmt Command, command, format, text. Let's try this. So we'll see the syntax. So it says that um, the FMT command is used to format paragraph of text by adding line breaks and word wrapping. 
to format a single line of text using FMT command, you can either echo the line of text or provide it as input through a pipe. Yes, we, we are definitely using pipe, okay? So this one is using echo, and then we don't need this one. So this is using a pipe. So in this example, you can direct it, the line of text through the pipe, like, like so. And then, uh, let's see, where is it? Echo this, okay, echo this, and then into this pipe. In this, you can direct it. Where is the result? the results is the results we need now sorry this is the long line of text that needs to be formatted using FMT command the FMT command adjusted the line breaks and what we are going to do Ensuring that it fits within the default width, usually 75. Okay. 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 Let's try it. I know what to say. So let's have these words. Let's have it. Um, let us set a number to it. Good. Yes, I am. Okay, and then let me delete this one. So we have three main paragraphs and then other texts. Okay, so uh, X clear. So let us cut and let us list it. Let us cut this link and pipe it and give it to F and T. So, literally, what FMT does is that uh, it's not even showing everything, it will limit the, the width of the particular text, okay. It will limit the width. I think I can give it a particular width, and that's what we saw there. So let me try it and say uh, FMT FMT ten cannot open ten for readings. No such. Oh, okay. Let me see. Okay. And the ten FMT. I'm not sure this FMT. Command of hand. And my FMT. You could try your minus N. I don't know. Yeah, sure. minus. Minus width. Minus width and option. So let's try that. Um, Q. Is after the FMT. Oh, I want to try it after. 
Yes. Uh, okay, so this one actually works. And it's only limited to 10, unless you want it to be for... So it actually limited it to ten ten nine. So this one is just to format the the readability to to the particular word. And so um according to Chat GPT he said the default is seventy five. So if you don't specify a particular number in front, um you won't get you get 75 reportedly so you have to specify and i'm very sure they would have given you a task in which um, in which you'll be told to give it a particular width okay, so let us clear the screen so i think we should be able to do that so let us list so we can use uh let us use some cards text And say sort it and say which other word are we used? unique? Unique and say WC uh, dash what do we just use now? Dash ten uh, FMT format. Dash, dash five, and then let's do WC. Is it dash NR right? Is that WC? WC, what count dash what? Let me see. WC dash, it is not enough, dash L. And now it's wrong. So 93. Do you understand what I did here? I'm not sure. Um, we first get the Yeah, we first get the uh, standard output, right? Mm -hmm. Using this standard input. We sorted it out. So let me just remove the WC first. Or let me do the number one. So we first sort it. So sorting will just arrange the first lines, the paragraphs for us. E, E, um, G will follow, H will follow, this and that. Okay. And then the next one is. Let me put this one out. The next one is unique. Unique would remove the duplicates, right? So, uh, because I was copying, remember that I was copying this word that I I pasted in the document. So we have so many duplicate paragraph. So unique would sort down out. So we are limited again. So after that. Uh, we format it to display in the um, five five. I don't forget we have how many lines one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty. So we formatted it to display. So after displaying in this format now, the lines have increased. Okay, so we now wanted to count the numbers of lines. Then we now use this um, word count. Word count. Yes. And then it says we have 93 lines. And word count listed. Yes. So he counted all the uh, lines and said we have 93. Just as, as we, had, we had it here. This means the total number of files in the current directions. 
So back to um, our, from our speakers. So we've done FMT as well. So um, the tail and head, we've done tail and head before. So let's just do PR and then we'll go to TR. So PR takes a uh, print, I guess. I think, yes. Takes text input from standard inputs and split the data into pages with page break, header and footer in preparation for print. So this one is quite simple. It's, um, it will take that probably um, let those words, for example, if you have a text like this, then it will split it. One will be header, one will be um, the main body, and then we'll have footer as well. Okay, so it will split it into headers and footers in preparation for printing. So just help us prepare a particular text for printing. So we have a long text like that. So let's use PR and see if it will um, do that for us. So let's clear the screen. So LS, if we cut uh, test, test is very long, right? So let us cut test and then what's that command again? PR, right? Where is it? Yeah, I'm scrolling up. Okay, as you can see, it has. Can you see page one? Uh, the dates, and it did it as if we want to print a document. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, oh. So clear. So that's the work of here. Okay. So we don't have the done thing. So let's do TR. So we're almost done. We just have TD left. Okay. So TR is translate character. It's used to, um, I think, interpret sometimes. I think is it in uh, converting to languages too. I don't know. I've seen it in that case before. So translate character can be used to perform tasks such as upper to lower conversion or changing the line termination character from one type to another for example converting um, DOS text files into Unix text files okay so it's used for translation so um, let's see the demand I don't think I like the man page of this one TR option so we have delete character in set number so it has some other um, Flags, truncate set one, help display, blah, 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 version, delete, this, blah, 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 blah. Let's go back. Okay, so let's try TR on the character, but I think we have to give it a format. But to do that, let's check man TR, yeah, because this is their man. So TR, translate or delete character. It can be used to delete a character or translate a character. So just TR and option. Okay, so we can set one or two options, more options. Okay, so translate, squeeze, and or delete character from standard input, writing to standard output. Okay, so I think that one, this one will be quite interesting. So just a Q and then let's LS. And then uh, let's use cut sorting because this one is simple. Okay, so we have this one right. So let us say um, cut sorted, and then sorry, translate or let us use it to delete. To delete, I think we had extra flag, but let me see. Translate dash. Uh, there's a lot of um, what, what do we have? Yes, here. So, yeah, yes. Let's see. Missing up and after yes. Two string must be given when translating. Okay. Okay. So, yes to we. So, what it does here is um, I wanted to translate 
yes in French is we, oui, right? So I specify that yes, every yes should be replaced with we. Oui. So, uh, wait, oh, this guy translates. Where is my eye? All my eye is gone. All my S has become I. Anyway, firstly, um, all my years became we, which works fine. So I think it affected some other ones. Okay, picks the letters. You said? I say it picks the letters of those other ones. Yes, I'm coming. The S became I. Because S is I, yeah. O, um, o will become, um, Y will become O. Is there Y here? Yes. That what it did. It translated all the Y to be O, all the E to be U, all the S to be I. E, do I have E here? E here, and then it became U. So it, it, it is interchanging those letter, letter by letter. So I, I'm very sure if I give it more than one, it might not work, or it will just work and... Okay, just worked, and then I think it will just omit this last one. So to to turn it back, I'll just say turn on my we. So yes. Hey, don't boy this thing with this white I had it. <laughs> on my we to yes, and let me add white to this. This guy don't spoil him. Anyway, so I think that's that. Let us man it again. Man um, translate to see those delete options. So this one deletes character in set one. Do not translate. Okay, delete character in set one. So you can have set one. So you have to have two set of numbers, and then you do. Tr dash d, and then you put set one. I mean, supposed to do it. So let's try that. Q and uh, ls cat. What is this? This thing. Cat. This thing. Let us sort it. Sort it or let me run this home. Sort it and sorry. I want to create another one. Sort one. I know direction. Sort sort sort. Correct now, All right? Okay, I know what to do. It's correct, right? No directory as I don't know why these guys are it's supposed to work. It's supposed to work. Sorry. Cut list me. Let's use the okay. Let's put it inside. Sort anyway. If that one will not work, at least sort will work. Okay. I have so many rubbish inside. So it's one, we have our sort one, and let's try it. So we have add sort one. Uh, 
फाइव पिक्स जी जी लीड्स जी लीड्स ओके लेट अस कट सो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट सो वी बी एबल टू सी व्हाट इज इनसाइड सो से कट सो टू वन फाइव पिक्स एंड सी आर जी लीड्स जी लीड्स यू इनसाइड हम लोग so using this one will help us delete whatever is inside right so it's deleted or delete you don't need to um, use two set of numbers so now t r again and um, that's for delete okay to so translate i think we just set one set so and then now we can change it complement use the complement of so this one that still will complement the complement use the complement of set 1 to set set 2 okay. and then i think that's basically that and then we have the squeeze we place each sequence of a repeated character that is listed in the last specified set with a single occurrence that character i think this quiz is the one that will not do word for word to use uh okay i think it's true too we'll, we'll be trying that later so let's just continue sed stream editor can perform more sophisticated text translation than tr so it's almost like the tr so sed so let's quit this one and clear s e d stream editor for filtering and transforming text so you just do s e d and then the option s e d is a stream editor a stream editor is used to perform basic text transformation on an input stream the file or inputs from a pipeline while in some ways similar to an editor which per permits scripted edits scd works by making only one pass over the input blah 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 blah, blah. so uh messy deep let me see the box with blah 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 right so let's try scd Command. So clear. Clear. Let's have sort one. Cut sort one. Works. Cut sort one, and then type it. S E D. S E D. I'm not sure if this one work. That E expression, let's just use ChatGPT to use this SED because I don't want us to waste time. This thing will end in 10 minutes. I hope we can finish up. Use SED. Are you guys there? Yes, 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 yes. So, echo hello word. So, hello word is supposed to be printed into this word. And then they said SET. In this example, the SET command is used to substitute the pattern word with universe. Okay. So, how is it used? It's just like what we did with TR. But I think translate has to be the same thing. But, T, but SED is using pattern. So is how did it happen? Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Let's read. It says the echo command output the internal, the initial line of text hello world. The output of echo is piped. So the echo command output the initial line hello world. Yes, this one is piped to so the command. Yes, the command we use the s word. Okay, okay. So actually, uh, if you are changing for that SUG, you see it it wrote the word from that one that you wanted to replace. This one is specific. It is being specific of the word it want to replace, and then unlike that one where it replaces it replaces it with character. This one uses words. Okay, so if we try that here and say um, like we have I am you. So if I want to change all the you here to me, I, I should be able to say S E D uh, this S slash all the you to me. Right? Let me see how we did it here. What do you to me? Yeah, they are in quotes now. What's going on? S D minus D. S two minus D. Hmm? C options. Scripts only if no other script. Input bar. This thing is not writing as well. Anyway, probably I'll, I'll check that one later, not to waste that time. But anyway, SCD is to actually change words, just like you've seen it in the example, but we have not been able to practice something. Let me see again. Cassot SCD. Uh, Dash e expression hashtag one character six on the terminal y command. I don't know, there's something wrong with this command. So I go to dash e and create a this rubbish. Okay, so probably you, you could just try and research on that as well. So let me just so I don't, don't waste your time. So tomorrow, if we come, I, I will touch the SCT, I would have to figure it out. So the AWK, an entire programming language designed for constructing filters, extremely powerful. So just SCT and AWK, but let us see how AWK work as well. So, uh, The dash f program. Yes. Oh, sorry. Clear. Man. EWK. So, pattern scanning and text processing language. So, it is scan for text. Okay. So, scan for pattern and text. So, just um, read on that too. And um, tomorrow, before we start, we'll just go through them. Um, how it works actually, and then um, we'll go to the task. But before that, um, you should read this one too. This one is just performing tasks, which we've been doing, and then this one is cut. They cut this file, they formatted it, they did the normal printing as um, they formatted it, right? And then did the normal printing. This FMT will do that normal. They didn't specify the amount of lines, so it would use the normal 75. This one would sort it out in printable mode, and then this one would pass it to the printer. LPR is to pass to the printer. Okay, so um, then, so this one is another one. Which one? This one will sort it. This one would um, this one would remove duplicates. This one would make it printable. This one will print, pass it to the printer, and everything is explained here. 
and then we have one extra one and it says viewing the content of the tab files so to the uh, tab files are like zip files so in order to view their content you know the less we help us view and then this is the file and then to view it you add this you add tar and then tzbf this tzbf is added to to all those zip files to view the content okay so uh that's all on that so just read on this uh, uh awk and SED. SED is also like tr translating but get the syntax and awk so i think that will be all for now we have 30 minutes now. so if you have questions so far let us quickly just treat it one or two minutes if you have any questions yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome.